So the kettle's on, thanks very much, Scott. Um, so now, just final two minutes, and my computer here says that the Liberal star, Labour goes second and Bill goes last. So two minutes, just to wrap up, emphasize the key points. Shall I go? Yeah, well, just to wrap up then, I think actually it's been a, a very interesting evening, as you've given me lots of good points, and I hope some of those questions have been answered. What do we want out of this year, out of this actually, is 2012 is a crucial year when you actually have a big say, actually, to the future of Sweden. You are deciding, actually, the council, and hopefully the Liberal Democrat aspect about that is to actually vote for people, hopefully will represent you, make sure your views are heard and your actions are taken, are, are actually, do actually happen with the council. And it actually was all about actually doing things and making them happen. And actually to be your champions on the council. Hopefully the Liberal Council will do that and actually bring more local control back to you in terms of localities, in terms of actually how we operate, in terms of making Swindon a better place, and particularly Escot, uh, which we all share. It's so one thing we all share together, it's actually where we live in our community. And there's nothing actually more important than that. And obviously we want to make it better and hopefully does your vote actually would carry to do that? Actually, get things done and keep in touch and make Swindon and Escort a better place. Thank you, Stan. Andy? Yeah, I mean, this election is a choice about whether you have a Labour or Conservative council. Now, Stan has a couple of times said that the Liberals theoretically could win the council. There are actually not standing enough candidates to take control of the council because a long number of wars are only standing one, one candidate. So it does come down to Labour or Conservative. Now, a couple of things have been said about Labour in the past, you know, but Stan himself has said is that Swindon is actually a little bit of a, a swing town, is that it tends to vote against the way the government is going. So the fact that Labour lost control to the Tories is not something which should be used as a stick to beat Labour now. I actually think that in many ways, ten years ago, Labour had lost its vision in Swindon a bit, of where we were going. But under Jim Grant's leadership, I really think that Labour's got a really clear vision of how to move Swindon forward as a better town for the people that live here. Bringing jobs and growth, having pride in our community, making Swindon a great town to live in. And I really hope that you give three votes to Labour in Escort so that we can have a Labour council. Because the trouble with having a hung council and horse trading is you don't know what you'll get. It's not democratic. In Germany, the FDP only ever get 55% of the vote. They've been in government since 1960 because they always do the horse trading. You don't know what you're going to get. When we went into the last general election, the Lib Dems promised a number of things which we didn't get. You know, they, they, they said they, they stood for one set of principles, like the student um, um, loan tuition fees, like defending the NHS, and then in government, they've done exactly the opposite. Now, what we don't want is a situation where people ask for the votes now, uh, so you vote for them, and then they do some horse trading behind the scenes with the other parties and you get something different. What I can pledge to you is that what Labour promises, we will do, and we won't promise things that we can't deliver. So we're going to be absolutely straight with you. Vote Labour, vote three times Labour, so we have three Labour councillors, a Labour council, and let's move, let's move Sweden forwards. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, this is actually got a chance to, to have a fresh voice and a, and, a, and a fresh approach. You've got one green vote, definitely. If you've still got lingering uh, affiliation to other parties, then of course you, it's, it's a free vote, you can vote for them. But hope, you know, ideally just vote for one green vote and don't vote for the others, because, you know, it's, <laughs> they're all ruled by, by these party machines from from West, from the party leadership party machines, whereas the Green Party believes in localism, and we are a growing force, and people recognise us. So vote Green, and what else? Uh, what are the, uh, whatever else you do, that's up to you. But. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Well, Scott's put the, the the kettle on, so that's fantastic. Can I just thank? Everybody who's, who's come along and uh, in well, in, I was really impressed, very good natured, both in the audience and, and here. Thank you for showing an interest. You know, democracy is very, very important. Uh, make sure you vote on the 3rd of May.